Okay, the last section in chapter 2 are temperature conversions. Exercises 2D, 2E, and 2F, pages 36 through 41. A couple of things to note. Remember that you have to know the formulas for converting Celsius to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius, or Celsius to Kelvin, or Kelvin to Celsius. You really only need to know two different formulas. And most importantly, when converting temperatures from different scales, the number of decimal places must be the same for both your original temperature and the temperature that you convert to. It's not about the number of sig figs, it's about the number of decimal places. Okay, so let's do a couple of problems to point out what needs to be done. But first, let's talk about the formulas. The formula for Fahrenheit to Celsius looks like this. The temperature in Fahrenheit minus 32 times 1.0 divided by 1.8 is equal to the temperature in Celsius. You may have learned it in a different way, but this works for any kind of Fahrenheit to Celsius temperature conversion. Okay? To be able to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit, you have to memorize this as temperature in Celsius times 1.8, that total, plus 32, is equal to the temperature in Fahrenheit. You need to memorize that, or you need to be able to do the algebra to get you from here to here. My suggestion, memorize either this one or this one, and be able to do the one-step algebra between the two, because that keeps you from having to memorize something else. Of course, from Celsius to Kelvin, or Kelvin to Celsius, you can use the temperature in Celsius, plus 273.15 gets you the temperature in Kelvin. And then finally, remember, there is no Fahrenheit to Kelvin, Karen to Kelvin to Fahrenheit um, conversion. You have to go to Celsius first. Okay, so here are four problems that you ought to be able to do pretty simply. Your job is to write these down, do the conversions after hitting pause, and then when we come back, we'll actually do them and see what you get, see if it matches up. All right, so hit pause. Okay, we're back, we're back from pausing. 31 degrees C is what temperature in Fahrenheit? Well, we're solving for Fahrenheit, right? So Fahrenheit is equal to the temperature in Celsius times 1.8 then you add 32 to that. So, when we punch that into the calculator, that's 31 times 1.8 is equal to that. And then we add 32 to it. And we get 87.8 is what the calculator says. What are you going to write? what you're going to write is because this is known to no places past the decimal point or to the ones place this answer is going to be to the ones place as well so the correct answer here is 88 degrees Fahrenheit so when you hear 31 and if you're an American you think mm, that's cold if a Canadian Here's 31, they think, ooh, that's hot. So it's all about your perspective, what you're used to thinking about. Okay, Fahrenheit to Celsius. Well, let's think about this. The temperature of boiling in Fahrenheit is 212. So this is really close to boiling, which means we're going to be really close to boiling in Celsius. Well, what's boiling in Celsius? It's 100. So this final answer better be darn close. All right, so we're going to use this formula this time. So it's 207.3 minus 32 
times 1.0 over 1.8. And that gives us what? 207.3 minus 32 is equal to divided by 1.8 is equal to. I get calculator wise 97.388888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888